from college basketball's highest altitude on the high plains of Laramie, Wyoming. Tonight, the two hottest teams in the Mountain West face off the Utah State Aggies visit the Wyoming Cowboys. And look, Brandon Horvath has the first five for Utah State. EK loves to go to his left, and this time it's off the glass and in. Yeah, that is the... I mean, you can give the young man a warning. This is high level, two NCAA tournament caliber teams. We want to let these teams play it out and have the best players on the floor. I mean, give a warning, let them continue to play, but here we are with the possession for the Aggies. Utah State able to knock down three of the four technical foul shots. Now Ashworth open, and he buries the triple off the Cowboy bench. Drake Jeffries, a right-hand teardrop settles in. Great to the least. We'll see some early minutes for Utah State. Xavier DeSalle, first attempt, knocks down the triple. Oh, this place is starting to get loud. They are, especially at home. They're 10-0 for a reason, and it's not just offensively. Aldonado scores off the window. Utah State, winners of five in a row. Trying to hand Wyoming their first loss at home. Brendan Wenzel splashes in the straight-on triple. Uh, to be able to match up better with this fast and quick Aggies team. Jeffries splashes in the triple. Wyoming's fourth first half three. Zavoda, it's good. Five straight Aggie points. I'm sure the fans are ready to do another one. They may be even more <laughs> aggressive after the referees kind of got this game started in a different way than the fans expected. Bounce pass from Ryland Jones to Brendan Horvath. Maldonado. Terminated his dribble. Noah Reynolds late in the clock. Jeremiah Odin missed everything. And the first half comes to an end. Utah State, a four point lead at the break. Yeah, we again, kind of that hesitance again. Just hasn't really played very many minutes. Trying to get back in the groove of the game. And there you see Justin Bean getting in his groove. He was in the All Star game. Backs back his day. way from coast to coast. And he scores, Graham E.K., six in a row. As we check in with Bridget Howard. Hunter Maldonado told me earlier today, he said, I know I'm one of the oldest people on the team. And you see him there come up big with the three-pointer. He is accustomed to making big-time plays. E.K., number one in the country in fouls drawn. You can see why. This time, Horvath gave him a little bit of space. Late in the clock. Into the paint. And off the left side of the backboard, E.K. has to hoist it up and ties the game. And he missed the front end. E.K. chases down the second effort, and Jeffries gives Wyoming the lead. Oh, from way downtown, that's exactly what this crowd wanted. With a made shot from the floor. Bean, baseline, reverse. Four straight for Justin Bean. A solid three-point shooter. Horvath spins. Dumps it off. Justin Bean lays it in. Utah State by two. Yeah. Wyoming fresh off a quad one win two nights ago in Fresno. EK ties the game. So tough to stop. So tough to stop. You don't want to double and leave shooters. This is what college basketball is all about. Shulga bounces to Bean, and he crushes it through. Utah State, a chance at a quad one win in Wyoming tonight. Aggies by two. Wenzel straight on for the lead. Won't go. A foul wow. on Utah State. Wyoming's in the double bonus. Linder and his staff coach daily rebounding. They coach rebounding as much as anything, and that rebound right there just paid off. Tight again. Nothing but net. Crowd on their feet. Nine ties, 16 lead changes tonight in Laramie. Horvath with five. Spoon feeds Idle Rock. To the corner. No Shulga time. didn't get it off. Did not get it off. What a big time stop. A lot of jitters, a lot of desire to want to win the game, but. It's really hard to kind of settle in. And speaking of settle in, the end one for Maldonado. His defense, we talked about the 10 threes being a huge key for Utah State. They made five in the first half, only three in the second half in overtime so far. To go down. And we are tied again. 70 seconds left. 
We'll see if that's enough for one of these teams. Maldonado. Woo! Man, is he putting on a clinic with his post-up ability. Has it. Great job by Jones getting that 50-50 play. And Jones Tough lays it in. Finish. Jones has played so well in overtime. Didn't hit. Five seconds separate the big clock from the small clock in Laramie. Maldonado draws two. Jeffries, long range. Won't go. EK, the offensive rebound. The stick back. Here comes Ashworth. Now a stop away from a fifth straight win. Ashworth with four, dishes to the corner. Rylan Jones, floater won't go, and Wyoming wins it. They find a way to do it again. How do they do it, Chris? On the defensive end. They got the big defensive stop in regulation to go to overtime, and then they get the big defensive stop in overtime to seal the victory, and Graham E.K., on both, on the other side of the offensive end, had huge plays down the stretch. I mean, what a team effort. The Coach Linder's not able to coach the game. Uh, you see him in the hallway pumping his fists. And uh, give credit to this staff for getting this team to be so poised. Give credit to this team. And this Wyoming Polk basketball team is for real, ladies and gentlemen.